Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to study equations with decimals, just simple equations. And each one of these examples is a simple equation, we just have some decimal numbers there to use. The principles to solve these equations are the same as if these numbers were actually integers or whole numbers. So nothing really new here. For example, this one here is a multiplication equation. So to solve it, we need to divide both sides by 0 0.2. So we get 0.2x divided by 0 0.2. And over here, negative 5.8 divided by 0 0.2. Okay? Here, of course, this cancel, as usual. And then x here is, okay, negative, and then 5.8 divided by 0 0.2. We can do this mentally, but the principle we need to use is that we need a whole number divisor. So we multiply both of these by 10, we change the problem into 58 over 2. Okay, 5.8 times 10 and this times 10, because that's how decimal division is done when your divisor is a decimal number. The shortcut is to move the decimal point, okay? So in both I move the decimal point one step, like that. So I get 58 over 2, but negative. And so x equals negative 29. This is a division equation because the variable is divided by something. So we solve it by multiplying both sides by this number. Okay? So we multiply negative 5.1 times this n over negative 5.1. And then on this side the same thing, negative 5.1 times 9. Okay? And here, of course, these now cancel, so we get n alone, which is what we want, and it's now isolated. And here we need to multiply this. We can do the multiplication mentally, because we just multiply 9 times 5, 45, and then 9 times 1 tenth, which is 9 tenths. So we get 45 and 9 tenths, but it is negative. Here, we have the variable here as a negative, negative b or minus b. And then there's 15 here. 15 is added. So, to isolate negative b here, then I would subtract 15 from both sides. So we get, let me write it here, subtract 15, subtract 15 from both sides. And here 15 minus 15 of course leaves 0 or nothing. So we are left with this negative b. On this side I have negative 15 and then negative 2.3, lots of negatives. So I add the absolute values, right? I add 15 and 2.3, that's 17.3, but the whole thing is negative. So I get 17, negative 17.3. And of course, if opposite of b equals this negative number, then b must equal 17.3. Here, I will simplify first because this double negative is always a little complicated to handle otherwise, but it becomes very simple when I change it to just a plus, right? So I will rewrite this as z plus 0 0.8. On this side it's negative 1.21. And now, if you want to, you can flip these two sides so that you get your variable on the left side, as is customary. It's not absolutely necessary, but it often makes things look easier. Okay. And now, it is a simple addition equation, so we just subtract from both sides this number. So I subtract 8 tenths, it leaves z alone here. And this side, I have this number, but I have to subtract 8 tenths. Okay, so a negative number, and you subtract some more. Again, it just makes it more negative. So I add the absolute values. 1.21 plus 0.8. And I take the sum as negative, so we actually get negative 2.01. There. 